TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, this is where we would possibly put highlights from the live, but you could just go back on Twitch. You don't even got to sign in. You could do it as a guest and watch the old lives. Uh, they're numbered one through whatever, so this would be 11. Uh, anywho, don't forget we do got Patreon Monday through Friday. Uh, we will be starting Shameless. Going to let y'all know Shameless will be starting soon. Uh, and we're also going to start something called The Gold. It's pretty cool. I watched the trailer, man. That's my choice. Occasionally, I throw a my choice in there, man, because some of the shows y'all be picking, be y'all be really wilding on there. Like, let's get some 2023 years in here, please. Uh, don't forget, we also got merch. Got mine on. And if anybody ordered recently, y'all orders are on the way. Just processed them yesterday. Yep, they the day before. But anyway, this is Police Interceptors. I have no idea what season or episode this is. Because they did not put it. But apparently it came out six, five days ago? Six days ago? Anyway, I'm going to watch it. We're going to watch it. Pretty cool, man. This is HD good. Nice, nice. Or maybe not. Oh, Let's go. It's the wee small hours in West Nottingham. Phil Broughton is single crewed in the unmarked Beamer and coming to the end of a long shift. Remember, he's not single crew when he has his nose. This is the officer that can figure out anything, ain't it? With his nose, oh, with his sense of smell. But hold the Horlicks, he's been woken up by an iffy Mondeo. Tango 82 and H, can I have a code 2 please on Walter Road? Yes, yes. Phil checks the car's details with control. Silver Mondeo, uh, insurance help is registered and insured. It's insured to a woman, but it's Mondeo man behind the wheel. Yeah, 10 4, initially driving slightly erratic, it's uh, 4 up. A That's Cap, I didn't see him drive erratic once, did y'all? <laughs> car being driven badly at this hour is begging for a pull. Phil's appointment in the land of Nod will have to wait. I'm uh, 82, I'm going to attempt to stop. Blues before bedtime. Got blue lights illuminated, uh, vehicle still continuing, speed 4-0. He's failed to get the message, so Phil hits the horn section. Ford's still obeying the highway code. Yeah, so Phil know what he's doing. Let me be quiet. <laughs> Indication. But that's probably his last legal manoeuvre of the night. Vehicle is uh, failing to stop, failing to stop. We're currently brown coat lane. Speed is 5-0, medium risk. Say uh, left, left, left of the RA on to Wollerton Vale. Speed is uh, six zero and increasing uh, medium risk. Well, advanced driver. T I wonder how accurate this is. Like to us, it's like they get in the car and something immediately happens. Like how long do it take them to, to get any type of action? Is my real question. Phil's used to wily customers. He was once attacked at the nick by a rogue ferret. The furry felon gave him the slip that day. But Phil's no intention of letting the weasel and the Mondeo escape. And as another unit joins behind, he can focus on the job in hand. High speed, first episode, first, first. To allow single crewed Phil to concentrate on the driving, Negative. Jenna, in the car behind, takes over the radio com. Speed is 7 0, the Ford is now running reds at high speed. 
and as he exits the roundabout, he opens up the throttle. It's like, I be seeing these, man, and if you want to go to jail, just go to jail. Like, <laughs> like you going to j you might get off, but, like, this is the UK with the most lenient sentencing that I've ever seen in my life. So. Mercifully, the Muppet in the Mondeo is racing on empty roads because he's pushing it north of a ton. <laughs> Other units are scrambled to assist, and interceptor duo John Lee and Sergeant Luckett join in the chase of the rear. I'm not gonna lie, he triple digit in him right now. 100 miles? With three T Pack trained drivers now in convoy. What they gonna do with a 100 mile an hour T Pack? That's what they gonna try to execute? Phil plans his next move. When we get to two lanes, uh, with the intention to attempt a uh, three car box. A T Pack at these speeds is a dicey prospect with a driver hell bent on escape. Who would have knew a Mondeo could go this fast, huh? Anywhere, but with Mondeo Man playing wrong way roulette with oncoming cars, they may have no choice. Speed is 75 and a 3 zero. He now attempts to go the wrong way up a dual carriageway, but thankfully... Aren't they supposed to be stopping? Like, this is getting dangerous, right? He is blocked by an oncoming ambulance. This bloke appears willing to risk it all to escape, and there's another problem. About to be more traffic. The driver is heading. Are those Christmas lights I see? This gotta be a recent SMS. Downtown. If he reaches the busier city. It's 10 a.m. right now. Center, the interceptors might be forced to call the pursuit off. The Ford's flying and the fool at the wheel makes another crazy detour to the wrong side of the road. The outskirts are coming up fast. It's a race to get past him for the tea pack. And Phil makes his move. But Mondeo Man has other ideas. However, John Lee releases all of his BMWs 250. Is he going to jail? You got to be going to jail at this point. The horses galloping from the back of the pack to block the Mondeo's path. The run they are, oh, they got on decamp too? No way, stacked it into a tree. But is it game over? <laughs> They gotta be over. Like they finna whoop, they finna beat, they finna give it to you roadside. You done made contact with two police cars? Oh, okay. The interceptors are after the runaway driver of a Ford Mondeo that failed to stop. Heading towards the city centre, the suspects force them to try a tricky tea pack. Which has gone with a bang for pursuit driver Phil Broughton. Metal on metal at over 60 miles per hour. But the cavalry's come past in form of John Lee, who stopped the Ford with the help of a tree. Shit. Ford Mondeo. Those and the stock of Ford Mondeo is about to go up. <laughs> the interceptors are onto the occupants within seconds. Oh, he was out there with his girl trying to show off. And all three are nicked. The male passenger's new ride is going to be in a blue light taxi. 
Right, on your feet, stand up. Wait. Right. Not yet. Whoops. He got all shorts and Timberland boots? What? Wait, what? Just me like that. Squeeze me like that. What time of year is it? Look, look. Right. Keep your foot in. Squeeze me like that. While he protests his innocence... Whose car is it? I don't know, I was sat in the passenger side. The driver is also playing dumb. Mate, whose car is it? I don't know. So why are we driving him like that? I'm not driving. In a bid to throw them off the scent, the driver has jumped into a child's seat. Grown man jumping into a child seat, like, come on now. When we got here, he was climbing through his bike bit and he was sat perched in that little seat. Oh, yeah. And we were behind him and was, he wasn't sat in that little perch seat there. But this overgrown kid's facing more than just a trip to the naughty step. The underage are failing to stop, dangerous. No lie, he might get away. They ain't catch him in the seat. Driving, okay, driving whilst disqualified. She doesn't say anything, be made home defence, or will mention when questions, so he's later in court. And if they do say, maybe giving evidence. What was she taking today? Nothing. Well, you've had something, so we had booze. Right, I had nothing. Mm, he's on ketamine, probably, so. Coke, weed out? No, nothing. Right. The driver's clean, but disqualified. And both he and the male passenger are suspected of nicking the car earlier in the evening. The formal part is, yeah. you've been arrested on suspicion of theft of his motor vehicle. Me? Yeah, so you don't have to say anything, but you're on defence, you don't mention the question, so you should go to line in court, <laughs> and you say maybe give yeah, him evidence. Yeah, all right, mate. I didn't, what right. was that, mate? I didn't hear that. I didn't understand it. What's his name? He's not giving a name. I want to take it. He's refusing all details. What's he wearing? His dad's shirt and your mum's cardigan. <laughs> With no injuries and all occupants of the car caught, the only downside to the night is the state of their cars. Oh, no! Got a flat tyre. There was no collision this side. No, you no. can hit by a side, though. It was that side? Yeah, it that side. Ah, though. it's pushed, yeah. Is there much damage here? Yeah. Yeah, the whole panel. That's what happens when you got them low profile. Oh, this tyre's not even low profile. It's pretty thick, but it probably came off the rim when he hit him. Metal. Metal can yeah. be replaced. Yeah. But a bit of damage to the motors was a price the interceptors were prepared to pay. He couldn't get into the city for public safety because the speeds he was doing, uh, he was driving. Yeah, but he did not care. In dangerously. Uh, there's no way we want him to come into contact with any other members of the public. Facts. The driver pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, no insurance, failing to stop, disqualified driving and aggravated taking a vehicle without consent. Aggravated taking a vehicle without consent? What does that even mean? Like he aggressively went inside, grabbed the keys and aggressively walked out and got in the car? He was in prison for 12 months and disqualified from driving for two years. He actually got prison time, why? No further action was taken against either of the passengers. Where's um, this chap that's been seen, please? Nottinghamshire has 67 firearms officers, including interceptors Lisa DeSantis Yo, and Lewis up, Marshall. Is this Lisa with the tattoos? They're responding to an urgent situation involving a young lad causing trouble on a local estate. Yeah, you got her driving today. I told y'all she don't be doing nothing. You gotta at least let her drive so she acts, so she, you know what I'm saying? A lad's caused some sort of criminal damage. Alongside that, he's then threatening to uh, attack any police officers that catch him. Lewis joined the force in 2008. Transferring to the firearms team in 2019, he's well acquainted with Nottinghamshire's naughtiest teenagers. And the suspect thereafter is a familiar face. He got one on him? He got a pistol on him or no? He's 17. He has been violent. He's just officers. The lad's potentially a handful and they need to locate him fast. 
<laughs> if you spit it on if you spit on an officer in America, that's battery. I think it's the same out there, but like if you do that here in America, the officer is gonna fight you. Like he's gonna put hands on you. <laughs> you next ride. Right. There. Right, shall I turn these on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Lisa is always getting Aaron's trained. Aaron's crawling with cops, including fellow interceptor Jen Else. This, oh. His moped is in the back. Right. They suspect the ladders arrived on a moped, then gone to ground in the property. The quantum? Do we know which is his? Uh, it's top flat. After a knock on the door, a man and his dog appear. The bloke isn't their suspect, but the interceptors are convinced he's inside. Mate, if we've got reasonable belief that he's in there, we can come into arrest, effect arrest. Yes, we can. All right now, until you get the paperwork. We don't need paperwork. We can come into. Well, you thought this was America, buddy? They coming in there? Somebody's getting arrested. Arrest. The man isn't playing ball. No. Hey, what are you calling for, Mum? Do you love here? Hey, chill out for it. Do we know this? Do we know this is a dress or not? Personal space. Yeah, coming for boy tracking his ear. Get coming for the door. So I'll stop my dog mate. Go around it. What's this told us? Well, we've got enough to get in there to effect a rest. There's no need for firearms at this job, but it might need some muscle. Lewis, come up, cause we're coming in, whether he likes it or not. We're going in. They're going in. Lisa, you might as well stay back. They said they need some help. You know, you're not helping. A bit, um, bit of this. And once past the guard dogs. Wait, hey, in, hey, hey, up, in. The search for the suspect begins. One hundred and seventeen search property. All right. Where is he, mate? And he's soon found hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, don't do it to him, man. The other man kicks off again. While Lewis tries to calm him down. Let's get negative. Come on now. Turn me up. Fella. Lisa and the rest of the team deal with the suspect. Have you got him? He's made threats to harm police, but colourful language bounces off most cops. Look here. <laughs> yeah, you know you get bullied up, bro. What? You know you need that, bro. Yeah, you know you need that. You know. Shut your mouth, man. Once coughed, potty yeah. mouth is let out. He's not gonna mace you. It's too close to be. It's too close to mace you to other officers. Oh, but that's power spray, right? So it don't it don't spread like mace. In the air, it only hits its intended entire target, right? Nice man. Where he continues to hurl insults. What? We've got him. There's just time for one last compliment. <laughs> Before this charmer. It's funny because you're probably right. <laughs> Yeah, we can watch Jordan. Has some quiet time in the safety of the van. <laughs> nice little job. Interceptors have to deal with this type of abuse on a daily basis, but it's water off a duck's back for Lisa and Lewis. No one's injured. The cops are injured. He's all right. So he's not. A, he's not going to be a menace to anyone else around the state now. And we'll look after him. This the same Lisa y'all talking about this water under the bridge too? Like she's literally doing nothing still. This is like the fifth episode straight where I've seen her with her hands in her pocket doing nothing. She robbing a police force out there, literally. Syringe, he's all right. So he's not, uh, he's not gonna be a menace to anyone else around the state now. And we'll look after him and deal with um, the offenses that have been alleged. So yeah, good job. No sooner is one job's done, another rolls in with the tide. Socorro is certain someone is finding air. Lisa again. A boat. A member of the public has heard gunshots on the canal in Beeston. Call the six who is running past on the path. Oh, yeah, it's 
about to kick off now. And a uh, weapon was discharged from that boat, which went past him. He cannot confirm though whether they were shooting or not at him. But the weapon was discharged near him. Whatever he was shooting at, interceptors take reports of firearms deadly seriously. So wait, he got the blick on him? Making the assumption that this is a viable firearm with ammunition. The intent is unknown at this time. With speed in need, there's no better interceptor at the wheel than advanced driver Lisa. I'm sure about that? She's an authorised firearms officer who dreams of one day owning a Lamborghini Huracan Evo. Why? But today, she's having to make do with the 150 mile per hour BMW X5. With the work that she be putting in at work, she is not going to get it. She is not a hard worker. Yeah, From what I now. see. A convoy of armed cops are ready to pull out the big guns. Pop in here against that bank there, look. With the situation unclear, Lewis and Lisa are going fully. Oh, okay, so the guns is in the car. Okay, so this this might be where Lisa strives to be great at. Like all that other stuff, she just be chilling. But when it's time to go, this is what she do. It's it probably. Up. It could be this. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. He's fairly innocent and he's, you know, firing at a bank off the boat, but there's anyone way to find out. I'm gonna go and get there. Have a look. Heckler and Cock, semi-automatic guns locked and loaded. Happy. The interceptors roll out. Okay, Lisa, you can put your little police hat on. You got your little gun on you, all right. Do she got seen at the canal, top priority is to contain the area to protect the public. Hey, hey, hey. You can't Excuse go down here, mate. Here's a minute, all right. Okay, all right. Second job, find the suspect boat. What is the description of that boat? <laughs> Old and tatty with a canvas cover. Is that it? The ground team can't get eyes on the gunboat. So they call in the mobile drone unit for a bird's eye view. How far is the boat? Possibly they're the boats in question. Right. We don't know that yet. I'll lift uh, behind this car then. Yeah, sorry, thanks, pal. The recently set up Nottinghamshire drone unit has all. Pal. They got a little helipad for the drone and everything? Like, what's going on? The recently set up Nottinghamshire drone unit has already helped bag 52 suspects. It's crazy, man, that this is a simple drone that a lot of, a lot of like high tech enforcement agencies be using this that, and you can get this anywhere. And locate 12 Ooh. vulnerable missing people. <coughs> the drone gives officers on the ground a readily available eye in the sky. They quickly locate the boat that the member of the public described. Please. Oh, we get quickly locate the boat that the member. Tell me, like, out of all the officers, Buddy looked like a drone operator. Like, if he was like, oh, yeah, I'm a police officer, I'd be like, ah, you operate the drone, don't you? Like, that's him. But of the public described. Please. Oh, we're going. 160 metres from us, you've got three boats moored up there just past the bridge. Yeah. Oh, that looks like the one into you. You're on our channel, aren't you? Yes. Sweet. It's now a full firearms response, including Look like he eats sardines. Including the drone's big brother. The police chopper's thermal camera scans the suspect boat for signs of heat. It's empty, but there are signs of life on two boats nearby. Two uh, suspicious boats are the first and second that you all come to. I feel like one of the, the, the dumbest things you can do in the UK is this, like, to fire a firearm. Like, pointlessly. Like, you have no reason. Like, you're going, now you're really going to jail. You're about to get 70 years for what? Because you wanted to be cool? Lewis and Lisa, along with other members of the firearms team's advance, backed up by Jen and her dog, Quantum. They go, Quantum. They arrive at the boat ID'd by the helicopter. 
Lewis invites the occupiers to shore. Hello, Hello fellas, come out for us. Yeah. And who could turn down such a loaded invitation? Yeah, right. Are you all right? Just come out to this place. You're all right, you're all right, you're all right. Get right. me out of the way. All right. Come on, of course, then, there's someone along this line here has got an air rifle. Oh, no, no. They've been shooting it off the boat. No, it's definitely not. Oh, it's an air rifle. The couple are entirely innocent, and with Lisa having no luck on the other boat either, they're in danger of drawing a blank. I think the show be making Lisa look like she don't be doing nothing. It, it gotta be the show that's doing this to her. Because they're talking about when Lisa drawing a blank. Lisa is not doing anything. She's just standing here. But then there's a breakthrough. She got that thing on her though, but she just standing there. We're looking for me. We're looking for you. Yeah. How do you know? Well, somebody's been bought in an hour. I was uh, trying to put an air gun in on my boat. Right. Who is that? Uncle Albert? No. Yeah. It's just an air rifle, is it? It's an air rifle and an air pistol, that's all. It looks like they've got their man. You shot it? it? I shot it, yeah. Into but what? Uh, right over there it was, from that, that corner to there I did. It seems no harm was intended, and while it's not illegal to own an air rifle, shooting one on public land is. I think it's a bit dodgy doing it down here. It's a, it's a lot dodgy there. Was, uh... If you mean dodgy enough to trigger a massive firearms response, then yeah. We've got helicopter up, we've got the drone mobile here, we've got all the ARV officers. All of that for an air rifle. I mean, the, the I'm not even gonna lie to you. The, the the show of force is probably necessary, man. Just so people know, like we gonna we they're gonna pull up as the police officers. We we gonna pull up. That's what they saying. Lisa look kind of decent with a hat on. Is um, so it's been quite a big job. And there's one job left. Seize the suspect's air guns. Oh god, that's um, some pistol. You got that, isn't it? Yeah, I've got that. The weapons themselves, they are potentially lethal weapons, you know. I don't think the guy's a bad lad. He got a sign on there and everything. Yeah. Taking the weapons in, him in. Uh, if anything, it will give us a chance to sort of educate him a bit further into safe weapon handling and um, appropriate places to shoot the weapons. The lippy lad on the estate was arrested for criminal damage, but no further action was taken. The canal shooter was cautioned for possession of a firearm and ammunition in a public place. He was cautioned for possession of a firearm? That's not a firearm, though. It's an air pistol. There's levels to this. On a long shift, it's nice to have a little company. We're in good hands with Phil at the wheel. Pause. I hope. <laughs> but to keep maximum cops on patrol at all times, interceptors occasionally work alone. Stay where you are. Where things can get a little tasty. I won't even drive you the way down. Turn around. What are you doing? Turn around. Obviously, it's just yourself. You've got no one else to uh, keep your eye out for you at a job. Um, and sometimes it's you need eyes in the back of your head. Sometimes members of the public will jump in and help to assist. I think the saying is the public are the police and the nah. police are the public. But so many things could happen. So many things that are out of our control day to day anyway. Um, but being single crewed is, is just one of them things where it's a, it's a necessary evil, really, um, especially in the current climate. Uh, I'm going to watch... I'm going to watch um, scam interceptors after this. <sighs> Flying solo tonight is dog handler Mark Haywood in the unmarked Skoda Octavia. Skoda. He scored a brand new Audi into a petrol station. Why? But though? the pair in the suspect car aren't in a hurry to fill up. Yeah, something, something dodgy. Hello. 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 Hello.
and it's Delta 2 on. Uh-huh. Mark runs the Audi through the system. The car's insured to a lady, but it's a man at the driver's seat. This is where it all goes wrong. Definitely. How do you know what they identify as in the driver's seat? That's a nice car. How are you doing? You're all right. Uh, Not too bad, man. You're all right. Oh, that's the lady. You're Amanda. No. What's your name? Sarah, why? Is, is it your car? No. No, it's not my car. What's your name? Why? Who are you? Police. It turns out she is Amanda and it's her car. Are you sure, dude? I won't even drive here. I'll just say it to him. We'll go back and get some drink out of here. What? You're pissed up as well. I'm not even yeah, drive it. <laughs> We've been behind you. We haven't. I can assure you we have. <laughs> The couple seem worse for wear, and the boozed-up bloke denies driving. Can you send someone to me, please, with a breathalyzer? As Mark waits for assistance, he spots something in the door pocket. I can see some coke in this door, sir, in here, yeah? If you try and run, or if you try and run, I've got a police dog in the car, and I'll deal with it, yeah? So... coke, Oh, down there, that's not coke. So, listen... It's glucose, by the way. So if any of you try and disappear, the dog will be after. It's who? Glucose? What? Yeah, yeah. You understand? Sugar? Apparently not. Stop here, I'll send the dog. I'm quite happy. Mate, calm down. Calm down. Where's that you for? She could be off to dispose of drugs, but single crude Mark needs to stick with the driver. Turn around. Me, bro, bro, what are you doing? Bro. Me, am I doing anything? You're resisting, calm down. For what? What am I resisting for? What is he? I don't see him resisting now. now let's be real, he's not resisting now. Mark knows these situations can quickly escalate and needs backup ASAP. Delta to one these. Mm -hmm. She wanna got rid of that glucose, didn't she? I hope she opened the bag and sprinkled it and didn't just throw the bag, because they will find it. They're playing up, is anyone coming? I'm playing up. Yes, yes. Um, Back from her shoeless stroll, the rogue passenger is increasingly erratic. Oi, girlfriend! They've got me. What? 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 Oi, you can get off. Oi! Bad move. That's definitely assault. Now you're going to jail. Oof. Get off! Get off. On the floor! On the floor! On the floor! Kick him, bro! On the floor! The lady wallops the camera straight back into the operator's Oi. face. Get off. It's no knockout, though, and the cameraman soldiers off. On the floor! On the floor, bro. Get off! Get off. On the floor. No, no, no. On the floor. Having already attacked the camera operator, she now ups the ante. Get off, bro. Get off, get off, get off. Get off. Get off. She's just never mind. I said he got a good one. She just dumb. That's all. She geeked up. She's stupid. She's assaulted an officer and isn't letting up. She's definitely going to jail. I don't know what type of privilege that this is, but like, she, you're out of there, man. On the floor. Mark has no option. Get off But to take her down. But I didn't put you face bro. On the floor, stop down. Stop down. There's a problem though. Do you want me to hold her down? Mark's only got one set of cuffs. And it's getting someone to me, please. Why did nothing wrong? Mate, yeah. As a member of the public turns good Samaritan and waits in. Nah. I didn't sign up for that job as a Samaritan, a good Samaritan. I'm just trying to be a, 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 a civilian. I ain't helping nothing. I'm not gonna lie, she is feisty. With the driver in safe hands. I can sit down and grab it back. Get off it then. And escorted to his seat. No, he's helping me, he's doing a good job. Really you were resisting, that's why you're there. It's a ringside view for round two. <laughs> Calm. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm. Calm down. Get me now. 
with the situation threatening to escalate further. Right, right. Leave up. Leave up. The cavalry rolls in. Get some cuffs on this, lad. He's got some cuffs. Watch this, it's assault. She's volatile, watch it. Stop it. If she don't go to jail, like, I don't know what to say. Like, in America, she's assault. <laughs> Aggravated assault on a cop. Like, you, you out of there. You're getting some time in America. Finally, she's in cuffs. He's helping me. He's a top lad. That, that lad's resisting. He's quite, I'm quite volatile. Hey, he's resisting. Get this guy off there. He's just got... And the Good Samaritan can have a well-deserved break. The Good Samaritan just helping out. Like, he's going to get a raise at his job or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to get a... a a piece of their salary or something like you not they not gonna give you nothing you're not getting a badge you're not you're not even getting a helper's t-shirt or nothing you just all right he needs breathalyzing when we calm down for drink driving why are you the drinks there's some coke watch his up and you're happy just needs breathalyzing yeah the driver's led away to be searched and breathalyzed while angry mandy is happy to answer questions <laughs> Uh, no, because I got rid of it. <laughs> I put it on. Love you, babe. Where is it? Oh Love you, babe. God, she talked too much. Now they're going to go search the area and find it. Where is it? Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Babe! Tell me where it is. Listen. What? Yeah. You're going to end up getting strip searched if you don't start being honest. Tell me where it is. Yeah, you're probably not Strip search. Just stand there for a sec. You're going to have to get searched, aren't you? Because it's not on me, you know? Twinkle Toes might think she's got one over on the cops. There's a whole police dog in the truck, ain't there? They're coming! Do you say they're coming? But Mark's retracing her steps from earlier. And she came over here and then went back over there. So I'm just checking to make sure she's not dropped anything. It looks like something's gone down the drain, but not quite far enough. Bro, you had all of that time. All you had to do was open it and sprinkle it out. But you threw the entire bag out so they can still stay from to come lift that up. Your Coke. Or a bag of white powder. Or maybe not. The cover won't budge, so it's time to break out the heavy lifting gear. We'll see if someone's got a crowbar. Do you have a crowbar in here? Crowbar and Bruce from Firearms, who also comes up empty. It's there, I just can't get it out because this won't come up. They're going to need a specialist bit of kit. Some gaffer tape. Yeah. Yeah. I want it to start raining so bad. Just rain. It's oh. less hook a duck, more hook the drugs. And here we come. There we go. Bit of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> no goldfish in a bag for winning, but they bag two suspects and all the evidence they need. A real result for single crewed Mark. Luckily, that member of the public who's a superstar here. Yeah. Lisa could never do this. Lisa would never do this much work. No oh, offense. No, so. Fair play to him. So we'll see where it goes. court the man was found guilty of possession of cocaine driving while over the limit no insurance and driving without a full license he awaits sentencing what's she get nothing the woman was found guilty of assaulting an emergency worker and sentenced to 100 hours of unpaid work community service that's not bad that's not a bad outcome <laughs> In Nottingham, a couple of passing lads have drawn the attention of interceptors Joe Riley and Gav Hall. Put 
See, the problem is a lot of people when they when they see the police, they 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 like natural instinct take over and they just do it right away. And then they don't want to lose whatever they're trying to hide. Like, you got to take that ill. Because if y'all make eye contact, they're going to come around. They're spinning a the block for you. This long-time copper is a fitness fan who supports Derby County FC. But unlike his footy team's defence, nothing gets past him. Including this lad, who he believes has pocketed a spliff. Like, why not just get rid of this split? It's a split. Get rid of it. Yeah, chaps, you all right? Hey, up. How you doing? All right. Good, good, good. It looks like a familiar face. Oh, we've had you before, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just come to the side of the road, lads. Yeah, for, I thought I'd seen you. Come to, you you're, you're in another car now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in an unmotable way, weren't you? Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Catch up complete, it's down to business. I've just seen you put something in your pocket. Oh, it's only a fag. Is it a fag yeah, or is it a spliff? It's a fag. If it's a spliff, we can deal with it, mate. Just be honest with us. Yeah, yeah a bit of a yeah, spliff. Yeah. yeah. Spliff, Where yeah. is it, dude? Gav's suspicion was bang on. Obviously, I drove past you. I thought I saw you put yeah, maybe yeah. a reefer in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to get nicked for a reefer. Put a reefer in your pocket is crazy. That's what y'all call it? Like, that's, that's the proper way to use that in a sentence? Yeah, I seen you put a reefer in your pocket. That's how you say it? But you are detained for a quick search, just to make sure you've got no more cannabis on you. Yeah. You got any more on you? No. Obviously, you're two together, so you could be passing it back and forth. You might have some on your mate, so you're going to get a search as well, all right? If you have got a bit of personal like that, we can deal with it. You're not getting nicked or anything, all right? Yeah. You got anything? Uh, no. No? They both deny carrying any more drugs, but the interceptors think they're hiding something. Gav searches the swift spliff kid. You stuck it in your pocket quick time, didn't you, when you yeah. saw me? Yeah, no, while Joe tackles his mate. Stained at the moment for uh, a search under Section 23 of the Misuse of Drugs Act, OK? Joe's relatively new to the force, but he knows all the hiding places and doesn't shy away from asking tough questions. What questions? What's in your pants then, mate? Nothing. Are you going to get it out for me or are we going to have to... Take him for a strip. Oh. The lad is playing dumb, but he's going in bracelets. Right. So there's going to be something in your. Has he got his meat in his hand? Pants, obviously. Yeah. What is it? What is it in your pants? Ooh, Just tell us, because we're taking well, There's a, a bag in there. Out. For a start, because it's rustling. It's right there, isn't it? Yeah, so what is it? The game's up. Just a bit of weed. Sam, just be honest with us then, mate. Cos if it's personal use, you're not getting nicked, will you? We'll deal with it here and there now, OK? Yeah, so it's just a bit of weed, yeah? Is it in your actual pants or just in your trousers? In your pants. In your pants, OK. So make sure you've got nothing else around the back and then we'll... He's weed in his pants, but not in that sense. If you're going to stuff it, man, you got to... <laughs> you got to be able to take that risk. You got to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Really stuff it. Pause. But, like... And Joe's drawn the short straw to pluck the bag out. We'll just go around this corner, look. Make sure nobody sees. We may hold in your hands. Just put your hands down and pull it out, mate, all right? Oh, it's your phone. The package appears to be firmly wedged in. I can't get it, mate. So, obviously, if you can't get it out, mate, we'll have to go for a strip search. But the prospect of a strip search seems to have had a loosening effect. He really had it up his butt. Cheers, mate. Is that everything? How much we got? How much is there? Like what we got? Ounces. Ounce. Maybe half. Half. Half? It's around £140 worth of cannabis, but there's no baggies or evidence of dealing. Yeah, that's personal. No baggies, no skill. This for me. Right, so I'm going to report you for summons, OK, for consideration prosecution for the offence of possession of cannabis. Just possession, OK? You should understand that. Have a good night. All right, chaps. All right. See you later. See you later. Details taken and both men are free to go. No lie, if that was Chicago, they would have took the weed, let them go and smoked it, the police officers. A lot of people that smoke a lot of cannabis can get through an amount of, such as this in a, in a few days. In a day. 
But um, in the absence of any other evidence, such as cash and um, smaller deal bags, etc., we'll be quite satisfied. It's, we'll treat it as personal use and not supply at this point. The lad concealing the cannabis was issued a £90 fine for possession of a Class B drug. Good thing you ran under these cops, man, because there'd be some dry the hard cops out there. Right? no further action. Still to... Spotting dodgy motors is meat and drink for interceptors Lisa DeSantis and Paul Charlesworth. He's in here. Okay. All right, Lisa. This is your second try in this episode. Show me something. Yeah. Lisa runs a check on Dodgy's battered wagon. Is it so? Yeah. Insurance not held. MOT expired on the 12th. Jen, we're just behind a vehicle on Lane End in Kirkby that's got no insurance and MOT ran out in February, um, just if, in case it doesn't stop. Just one male occupant. We'll just go for a stop. Um, it does seem to be pulling over on the hill. Question is, will this potentially uninsured driver pull up or pull off? What is going on? Looks like he's ready to face the music. It's coming to a stop. With Lisa out. <laughs> nope, he's making off. It appears he's changed his tune. Soon as Lisa was about to do some work. <clears throat> But after the shortest pursuit in interceptor history. What is he doing? doing? What is he doing? Paul has a sensible plan. Get him to pass you the keys. Turn the engine off. Lisa only the only she be taking instructions. That's it. That's why I say she be oh it always seemed like she's getting trained. Engine off. It's off. Yeah, pass us the keys. Uh, do you want me to pull the No, there no. we go. They pass on the chance to see him pull over again. Paul shows the Saab man how it's done, while Lisa finally meets the shifty driver. The reason we've pulled you over yeah. is because it shows no insurance and the MOT ran out in February. February? Yeah. So you, um, unless you can prove the... The MOT is the tax, right? You've got insurance on the vehicle now. We'll have to seize the vehicle from you. He's high. Um, I've changed it over to my insurance company. Have you got anything on your no, I'm, mobile? No, I've got no data on my phone address. I can't show you my email. Right. The man claims to have transferred his insurance from his old car. Because what I'll do is I'll just run you through our system and um, we'll check that you've got a driving licence as well. Yeah, yeah. An H from Foxtrot 28. A quick check, though, reveals his attempts to insure. Right. OK, Lisa, you yeah, all right. You're redeeming yourself right now. Sure, his car are as good as his pulling over. Right, I'll go and tell him the good news. Right, Richard, obviously, your driving licence all right, so I'm not concerned about yeah. that. Because you've got no insurance, we can't let you drive on a public road. You know, you're at risk to other road users, yeah. so we're going to have to go for, issue the paperwork and report you for driving without insurance, yeah. and then we'll be seizing the car, and I'll explain to you how you get that back. All right. Right. Let's hope he lives nearby. This I've got to get my stuff, it's not. Oh. Right. Darby, you better take an Uber. Call you an Uber, buddy. Unfortunately, you shouldn't be driving a vehicle on the road. In fact, if you just come out of the car... If he can't prove he's insured, it's a six-hour walk home. Are you going home to anybody? Uh, no, I live by myself, that's the thing. Right. no way of getting back to Darby. Right. Insure the car right now. You can do it online, can't you? It's estimated there's around a million uninsured drivers in the UK. And Paul and Lisa have little sympathy. We've got no way to facilitate so you getting back, yeah. unfortunately. There's no way you could follow me back to Derby or... No, I, can't, I can't let no. you drive it, mate. Yeah. Any hope of him keeping his motor is fast fading. There's no insurance showing on your old car either. It should be. No. So, because you said you've transferred it to this one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so there's... A, the reason I've looked at your old car is to see if they haven't transferred it properly, but there's nothing showing on your old car either. We're not trying to make it difficult for you, but we can't we can't let you drive on. If you have an accident, and then our necks are on the line as well, you know, for allowing yeah. you to drive on, and, that, and that's something that we're simply not going to allow you to do. 
While the man plans his journey, Lisa prepares for one of her own. So I'll be driving it to the police station, which is just around the corner, just to get it out of the way for yeah. the recovery, and then they'll be coming. But this is no ordinary car. Pay attention, Lisa. When you put it in first gear, you've got to put it in the second first, I think, first. Hey? Drop the car in the second gear first. Before you... It's too much work for Lisa. Like, come on now. Push it in the first. There's a gearbox there if you're on it. Well, that's cleared that up then. Hold on, hold on. So in second, then in first. Second, yeah. then first, but then... Where do I go? Do I go to second as normal when yeah, I need to? Second as normal. Might be a little bit hard to just have the clutch done on it, so it's all bad. You've just had the clutch done on it? Yeah. With a brand spanking new clutch, Lisa's raring to go. I'm Got looking forward to this. She's from the start immediately. It's an 18 mile trip home for the bloke. Best of luck. Yeah. Get home. All right. I hope you sort it out. Yeah, thank you. But only a couple of miles for Lisa to the station. Six hour walk is insane. Like I'm trying to find somewhere with free Wi-Fi and call an Uber. Then. Wish me luck. I've got to turn it round. Oh crikey! Now remember, second before first. Holy shizzle! Six stop. <laughs> Or was that first before second? Yes. But has she spoken too soon? Yes. 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 No. This oh, that is too much work for Lisa. Could take longer than the uninsured driver's journey home. Oh my God. Lisa, you are a police officer. He can't help. You drive every day. You can do it, right, Paul? <laughs> right, Control? You can do it. Second. You can do it. Got a second. Told you. I've done it. <laughs> Brilliant. Man with a cryptic gearbox made it home and later pleaded guilty to driving without insurance. He awaits sentencing. Normally, the, here they would just let you pull up to court with your insurance to make sure you got something, and then they would let you go, and throw it off. But anyway, not there, I guess. Tell leave a like, comment, I'm gone. Subscribe, man. We almost had 60,000 subscribers. Finally, I'm gone.